Hi everybody, it's Doreen and I'm back today with a couple of tags that I wanted to show everybody. This past weekend a couple of my girlfriends and I got together and we worked on making some tags. They had never done tags before and since I had done a few we decided to get together and I could show them how you can create your own tags using your Cricut expression your Cuttlebug, your Copic markers, and whatever items that you have around in your craft area that you'd like to put on a tag. So I'm going to get started and show you the first one that I did. And I actually did this one the night before so that I could show them what possibilities they could do to make a tag. So hi Elizabeth and Lori Kay. Enjoyed this weekend. So here's my first tag. I'm going to call this tag Sassy. And what I used was just a regular old shipping tag. And I took the shipping tag and I glimmer misted the tag first. And I used my dazzling, I started off with um, dazzling diamond of my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and then I use some silver and then I use some a Memory Mist Iridescent and then once I heat set that with my heat gun I then took and ran the tag through my Sizzix die and this is the large Dazmax I think that's how you pronounce it and I ran that through using my Big Shot. And then after I did that, I took my um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, the black soot. And then I just took and rubbed that across the raised edge of the tag. So I don't know if you can see that. And then from there, I took and I added this rose trim that I'm sure a lot of you have been seeing lately. I picked some up at Hobby Lobby. It has little roses, buds in the middle and with a pearl. And then I took some more white trim that has some pearls on it and added that on the bottom. And then what I did was I took and I rubber stamped this um, image. And this is from the Greeting Farms collection, the Miss Anya Love. I think these are so cute. So I took that and I stamped it first with my um, black, my memory Mr. Memento um, black ink. And then I colored it in with my Copic markers. So I'm going to go through the colors that I use for the um, coloring her in. The first thing I did was I did the skin color for her um, face and for the face I use the E00 which is of my Copic marker which is the skin white and then the other color that I use was E00 which is a pale fruit pink and I blended those two colors in and then I also took some R20 which is blush and I blended that in with it as well and I also used that for the cheeks and then for her legs I just used the pale fruit pink okay now for her shoes I colored her shoes in the R20 which is the lipstick red and then I added um, the colorless blender just to blend it in a little bit for her dress I colored her dress in the C1 of my child marker and that color is cool gray number one and then I took the colorless blender pen and I blended that in as well. For the flowers, 
the flowers I use the R20 which is let's see Oh, actually I used the R29 which was the lipstick red and then the R20 which was the blush and then I used the um, RV04 which is the let's see I used so many colors I forgot what I was using I'm not quite sure which color that is. Oh, I'm sorry. RV04 is the shock pink. So I use that one and then I use my blender pen to color the flowers in. And I did them in different colors and then blended them with the colorless blender. For her hair, I use the E13 which is a light suntan and then I used um, the blender pen to blend that in and then I kind of took the black which is the uh, 100 of the child marker and then just did some highlights of her hair and I also took the black to do her eyelashes and her eyebrows and then once I had her colored in, I took and I cut it out and I popped her up using some foam tape, um, two thicknesses of foam tape. And then I put her on the tag. The other thing I did was I took some bling from the Recollect collection. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. My camera battery died. So I think I was at the point where I was going to talk about the flower, the lollipop flower. What I did was I took um, my Sizzix circle die, and that's circle die number two, and I cut out two of each circle, and then I took a lighter and just lightly went around the edges of each layer, going in and curling a little bit further and there's plenty of tutorials on how to do this and it's actually really fun but you really have to be careful because you are working with the lighter and I always keep a pan of water next to me just in case I get a little too close and the fabric starts burning but it is a lot of fun and underneath that I have a layer of netting and then I added some pearl at the top of the flower and then I put a little bling in the middle and then I just added some of the fibers that I picked up from um, on one of my hauls and I've got a couple videos on some fiber and where you can purchase the fiber and then I have a Tim Holtz pen in the center and then I added um, some a charm with some beads that I added on the bottom of the charm so that's Miss Sassy. So now that was the charm, that was the tag actually that I did the night before we got together. So the tag that I did when we got together was this tag. And this tag, um, I'm going to call it Friendship. And the actual lady that's on the tag is from the Laura Lee fashion design fabric so this is actually a piece of fabric that I fused some iron-on interfacing to or actually it's um, not interfacing it's a web bond fa um, facing that you can put on the back of fabric and then you can fuse it to anything else so I fused it to some cardboard and then I took some um, foam dots and put on the back to make it pop up a little bit but the actual tag is the same as before it's using the shipping tags and then I use some glimmer mist and the color that I used for the glimmer mist was actually um, called cherry limeade and I just took and glimmer mist the entire tag using that um, glimmer mist and then I took 
and also glimmer mist it with some iridescent gold and then once I did that I heat set it and then I took and rubber stamped these little leaf florals on the tag and those are actually from a stamp set by Heidi Grace Designs that I picked up at Joann's and it's called For You and then once I did that that's when I added um, her to the tag and actually before I added her I did cut out and put some paper trim down at the bottom and I used the Martha Stewart punch to do that I think this is called the lace doily I'm not okay this time my memory card was full so hopefully now that I have a new battery in the camera and I have um, cleared out some of the memory on my memory card for my camera I'll be able to finish this video so as I was saying I believe this Martha Stewart punch is the lace doily but I'm not positive because after I opened the package I didn't um, put the name on there so I would know what it was but if I find out the name I will add it down at the bottom or in somewhere in the video so as I was saying I added that lace trim on the bottom and then I took and stamped this um, stamp right here and it says friendship lightens every burden and makes the sun shine brighter and that actually came also from the Heidi Grace stamp set um, for you and I cut that out using my um, oval punch which is this punch right here and then I actually cut out another one but a little bit bigger and put with some um, one of my scallop edge Sizzix dies and then what I did was I took and the one that I had stamped I put that one on top so it made it look like I had a little edge around the outside of the stamp oh, out of camera frame again and then I put some bling up there on the top you gotta have that bling and then for the flower this was actually a white flower that I got from the dollar store and I took and I glimmer mist it with that cherry limeade as well as the cherry pink and then I added a little bit of um, iridescent gold of the glimmer mist and after I heat set it I then took and added a pink feather at the top and then I took some pop dots and glued it and put it down on top of the flower that was already on the fabric and then at the top I just added a few little fibers that I picked up and some ribbon and then I added a butterfly that I also picked up from the dollar store so that's my tag friendship so that is my two tags Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know what you think. Bye.